My previous video showed um, only one way to solve a system of uh, linear equations so with two unknowns. There is another way, and I'll show you how. If we go back and look at our very first example, x plus y is equal to 2, and uh, x minus y is equal to 0. If we remember, um, we said x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 1. These are the solutions we found um, within the way I showed in the previous video. Well, there is also another way. Maybe you'll find this to be a little easier. Maybe not. It's for you to decide. Now, what we do here, um, we will look at both of these equations at the same time. If we add these two equations at the same time, we'll have x plus x, it's 2x, or y minus y is 0, we can just omit that, and 2 plus 0, we have equal sign, and 2 plus 0 is equal to 2, so x is equal to 1. Uh, we go back here and we can plug it here. We'll say, uh, we'll say for this one, it doesn't matter. We can, we can plug it here. This equation, this equation. Uh, let's just uh, look at uh, equation number 1, where x plus y is equal to 2, but instead of x, we'll write 1. Say 1 plus y is equal to 2. Uh, that's why y is equal to 1. As you see, we found that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. They're the same solutions like we found using uh, the first way I showed in the previous video. Now let's look at uh, the other example, x plus 2y is equal to 10, 3x plus y is equal to 415. It's a little bit more complicated, but it's it's pretty much the same idea. Now, if we just add them and subtract or subtract them, really we'll uh, end up again with the equation with two unknowns. Because if we add them, we'll have 4x plus 3y is equal to 25. If we subtract them, again, we'll, we'll not get rid of anything. Uh, but what we can do, uh, let's look at our y term. We can um, multiply this whole equation by minus 2. Okay, let's just write this one again, x plus 2y is equal to 10. And when we multiply this equation by minus 2, we'll have minus 6x minus 2y is equal to minus 30. 15 times minus 2 is negative 30, right? Okay, now if we add these two equations together, we'll get rid of y terms. Okay, x minus 6x x is minus 5x, 0 is equal to minus 20. Therefore, x is equal to 4. Boom. And we'll just go back, plug it in here. We'll have 4 plus 2y is equal to 10. 2y is equal to 6. Therefore, y is equal to 3. Same solutions as we found before. And let's look at our final final example. Our final example, our third our third example. In the previous video, we had two x plus three y is equal to fifteen, and the x x plus four y is equal to five. Again, if we just add them together or subtract them, we will not get rid of anything, but what we can do, um, we can multiply this equation, equation number 2 by minus 2. Why, why am I doing this is that uh, when I multiply this equation by minus 2, I'll have minus 2x, and when I add these two equations later on together, I'll get rid of x terms. So we'll have 2x plus 3y is equal to 15. I just copy this equation back down, minus 2x, minus 8y is equal to minus 10. All of these will just multiply it minus 2, 2x, minus 2x, minus 2 times 4y, minus 8i, minus 2 times 5, minus 10. Now, I'll just add them, I'll get rid of x terms, uh, 3y minus 8i is minus 5y 
is equal to 5 and y is equal to minus 1 and we can plug it in here so we'll, we'll have x minus 4 is equal to 5 plug it in here to this equation and x is equal to 9 same solutions, same answers as we found before. So this is another way to solve it. Um, I don't know which which way you like better. Some people prefer the first way, some people prefer this way. It's up to you. Thank you for watching.